Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we've got more spottings of the Model 3 Ludicrous. We've got interior features, plenty of inferior interior features, and a great look at the brand new seats that are coming out for the Model 3 Ludicrous. We're going to take a look at that plus a variety of topics, but before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today, definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out, Patreon link down below in the description. And today's live stream and all the live streams are partnered with Mint Mobile where you can save money on your mobile plan but more on that later. Let's take a look at this. Shout out to Nick for posting this. This is a fantastic shot of a great look at the brand new Model 3 Ludicrous Sport Bucket Seats. It's a little bit changed though. That's the thing from what was leaked way early on. This is what was leaked way early on. You can see different material almost and also Alcantara and leather, but it seems they must have modified this probably because production and cost is what's going to get these vehicles out in terms of a quicker production and so here are a new great look at these seats from the press event where you know basically the whole entire model 3 Ludacris was exposed it's out of the bag cat is completely out of the bag for what happened and so here's some more photos it seems like this unveiling was a two day event not just a one day event on april 1st but it was yesterday and the day before where they had plenty of model 3 Ludacris spotted all over the place and what we now know no, thanks to the gracious people that were able to get close, up close and personal to these Model 3 Ludacrises, and that the front rims and the rear rims have this type of sizing for the tires. They're 20 inch rims and they're 235 35s in the front and 275 30s in the rear. And so, what's going to be happening here is, of course, you're not going to be able to rotate these tires. It's not how they're meant to be made for performance vehicles. It's supposed to be bigger and wider in the rear, and then, of course, a little but smaller in the front. On top of that, here's a great look at the dash. This is going to be a carbon fiber front dash for the front of the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous. This is, of course, like behind that screen. This is a nice touch to add a little bit more sp sportierness of this and the Model 3 Ludicrous. So we have not seen this before yet. I personally have not seen it. So this is going to be an update on the Model 3 Ludicrous. And on top of that, here's another great look at the sports seats that are out there and here's another great look at the rims that are coming with the warp wheels on the model 3 Ludacris. and the great thing with these is that you can actually take out these carbon fiber or sorry it's not carbon fiber black inserts that it's a little bit more aerodynamic with the tesla wheels uh, where sorry it's, it's once you leave the carbon once you leave the inserts in it's more aerodynamic but once you take it out of course it's going to look way way better after that but uh, really cool to see and thankfully you know people were we're close to the Malibu area. Hopefully they didn't get in people's way with this unveil event, but certainly there was a lot of spottings with this Model 3 ludicrous out there and of course shout out to black model 3 zach for getting some more great photos uh it seems like this was day two of the model 3 event and you can see plenty of nice photos of the model 3 ludicrous we can see here we got some red calipers shown as you can see here and actually i don't mind the warp wheel look with those inserts in there i think it looks okay and then here's a great shot of the rear diffuser rear diffuser where you can see it is kind of like a floating one uh that sits underneath the rear part of there but i'm certainly pretty excited to see what's going to be happening with this model 3 ludicrous ludicrous i bet i still am putting my money on that it's going to be coming out this or maybe tomorrow even even april 4th because it's thursday tesla loves doing things and releasing things on thursday so it brings up that hype for the weekend and so certainly i would say if it's uh if you're looking to buy a model 3 ludicrous make sure you got your youtubes up make sure you got your browser 
browsers up, your websites up, because I think it is going to be releasing tomorrow so that you can place your deposit on a Model 3 Ludicrous starting off tomorrow and just wait there's more now we've got another different set of interior seats for the model 3 performance we've got a white interior which i think the combo i personally think the combo is going to be ultra red with a white interior for the model 3 ludicrous let me know if you want a different interior or you think something else is much better but i think that is going to be the combo to go with or maybe even the blue even though the blue isn't ultra it still looks nice at the end of the day for that but we're gonna jump into the next topic but uh, before we do that, if you like saving money, just a quick word from our partner. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams. How much are you paying for your mobile plan? And what do you actually get? Speed, coverage, data access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, and mobile hotspot even? Well, Mint offers all of these features for as low as $15 a month. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. Don't be duped. Go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. Thanks for that. Uh, and also, we've got a giveaway running on the channel right now pinned onto the live stream chat. Uh, we're working with Bespoke Design Lab to give away paint protection film or vinyl change color film. So if you're interested in the Southern California market area or you're willing to travel to the Southern California market area, definitely head on head on over to our community page so you can find this post right here so you can find out how you can enter in into the giveaway. We still got at least another more than a week left on this giveaway. And also there's multiple winners as well. And on top of that, if you don't live in the California area, don't worry. We're giving away as part of that giveaway, we're giving away a set of Tesla sipping glasses as well. So still enter in if you want to try and win one of the prizes out there. In this next topic, 0% financing actually exists, but here's where. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Sawyer. He posted this. Tesla China is offering 0% loans with vehicle purchases for a limited time. It seems like maybe China, Tesla market China is having some issues, and but they've got to figure it out. They figured out how to offer 0% financing to their customers. This seems to be a screenshot from Tesla China's website and also translated to English, but it does appear that it's only on certain models, maybe order the Model 3 by or order the current Model Y before April 30th and inclusive and pre-order the car on June 30th inclusive. We've got special 0%. Okay, so special 0% for one to three years with a down payment of 45,900 UN. If you do one to five years, it looks like it's 1.2% or maybe even 2.2%. So my question to you all is, are you guys looking for 0%? Would you buy a Tesla at MSRP with no discount with that 0% or is or would you even take 0% for three years? Because there are ways to get a lower interest rate for financing a Tesla, but uh, the best resource is definitely going through a credit union where we made plenty of videos on that. But if you're looking for the lowest payment for financing, 
financing your Tesla. That's where channel sponsors like Tenant come into play. Tenant is a approved Tesla financing partner and can get you the lowest monthly payment for your Tesla loan. They can do this by, by deferring a portion of the loan, maybe even that 7,500 federal tax credit. So definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. If you want to see what the payment would look like, definitely check out their finance calculator and throw in an application. It's a soft credit inquiry so that you can try and see what the offer, what the offer might actually look like. Thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of videos this month. And definitely check out Tenant down below in the description. All right. We got a lot of you in the chat. Leo, thanks for coming in. Want to think has better performance though, but wait until new version Ionic might be quicker. I guess, yeah, we could see that for sure. Did you just change your icon? Leo, Ionic 6 is better range, interior costs less than the new Model 3, and is better in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, arguably it's a better deal, especially because they're giving massive discounts on that Ionic because it just doesn't have as much demand. But I guess we'll see because this Model 3 Ludacris might roll out and then maybe it might be too expensive. Maybe Tesla will have to drop the price after that. Mfly, thanks for coming in. That will be like 100K. Ludacris? I don't think so. Maybe not. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Rivian versus over Tesla. I mean, Rivian, I will say, is a fantastic vehicle and uh, we still got a deposit that's a little pending i still have to i have to make i keep forgetting about it i need to make a decision on what to do with it junior can't wait for ludicrous yes uh, for sure M flies. Rupia has like 18 months left in cash. Uh, okay. Oh, Rivian. Ah, really? They do? Well, that's not good. Well, hopefully that R2 comes out by the 18th month. YSBH, thanks for coming in. The other day you said you couldn't afford a Tesla, and I believe you. Okay. I, I think that comment was directed at Leo, I would say. I'm going to skip through all these. Scott, thanks for coming in. Seven truck may peak. Tesla with straight line acceleration advantage almost non existent, and charging network advantage quickly dwindling. Competitions are building more compelling vehicles interesting you say that because now there is the silverado ev specs that just got released same price as the cybertruck but way more range on that and we actually were fortunate enough to be able to get into a silverado ev and uh, if you want to know my thoughts on it definitely check out the video right here like cybertruck owner reacts to silverado ev it was it was definitely an interesting experience and i would do it again for sure Jeff, when will we stop talking about Teslas and start talking about Rivian? Clearly a better car. Maybe once I get a Rivian at a great deal. But I did see one like brand new R1S for like $59,000, which of course you would have to be a prior order holder, but still crazy deal for sure. Gibson Rocker, thanks for coming in. I haven't seen you in a bit. It's going to be a hard decision for me to choose between Ultra Red or the Blue. Only saw the one rear shot of the Blue, but that Ultra Red is super sleek. Yeah, I wish they would come out with like an Ultra Blue at this point to make it really 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 nice joseph ultra red all the way i love mine nice for sure it's a great great color if you can handle the red leo i can probably beat you with someone's old model 3 performance anyway you can have a good top speed yeah it's probably gonna be the same if not like very 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 close with that jeff rivian's r1s entry term arriving q3 i'm guessing 60k starting price that would be a crazy value if you can buy an r1s for 60 K. Alessandra, thanks for coming in. If you buy a used Tesla under 25K with someone else, can they claim the used EV tax credit if I don't qualify? We both would be listed as a co owners on the car. Technically, yes, as long as they're primary and they would buy it because it's like self certified. Cyber, would these seats be an extra option? It doesn't seem like it is at the moment. It's probably standard, or at least I would hope it's standard. I mean, that's really not Tesla's MO to try and charge more for special seats or anything like that. In this next topic, let's give a quick update on Model Y prices because now Model Y prices are low and pretty much low as they've been all year. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Ness. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Sawyer again. He posted this. Here's how inexpensively you can get a Model Y in the US right now from Tesla's inventory, including the new 7,500 point of sale credit model y real world drive 33,890 model y long range 37,490 and model y performance 40,690 and on top of that you can use a referral link just like the one down below in the description so you can get three months of full self driving which is valued at six hundred dollars on top of that but that's crazy prices and it's even more crazier when you start to factor in some of the leases for that like three 
$343 a month with like four or $5,000 down plus the $7,500. You can see how the deals get pretty much up there or deals get pretty compelling at the end of the day. And looking at the inventory for Tesla Model Y, it's still starting to shoot back up again. This is like an insane roller coaster. And I bet if you're looking for a deal, don't buy right now. Wait to the end of April and also definitely wait to the end of June because this inventory is going to keep going higher and higher and higher. And Tesla is going to have to try and figure out how they're going to, whether do some inventory discounts on here to try and get these vehicles out. But let's take a look at the website. They've, they've definitely made some changes to this Model Y page. And here's what they've actually changed. They've added a cash and lease and finance and eligible tax credit. These are new toggles. I should probably make an update, but we'll talk about this tomorrow because let me research some of this and see what's going on here because now we also don't have like a sort low to high, which was my favorite feature here. But still, they're making some changes to try and see how they can advertise these vehicles even more but still definitely some pretty interesting stuff on the model y side for that but let me know what your thoughts on it. let me know what you're thinking which vehicle do you think is the better deal out there and obviously the answer is model y but we're gonna jump into the next topic actually live stream comments hey dennis what do you think what do you wish you have known prior to owning your first ev that's a good topic idea like what i what i wish i would have known before driving an electric vehicle mm, i guess like insurance that's a big one it's definitely 10 to 20 maybe 30 percent more than a regular vehicle uh, i wish i didn't really know about the maintenance and how like it's much cheaper but uh that's like, like some things i wish i knew Gibson, I still think it'd be quicker than 2.9 seconds to 60, especially if it has launch mode. Yeah, I mean, Tesla has been known to kind of hit right on the mark for their zero, 0 to 60 times pretty recently. Uh, so maybe they could be undershooting it as well. Cyber, would the Ludacris have track package like the Plaid? It should, because Model 3 and Model Y have the track package or the Model Y performance. No, Model 3 performance had the track package before. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to enter into the giveaway. We're working with the Bespoke, Bespoke Design Lab to give you paint protection film or vinyl change color film. Head on over to our YouTube community page so you can enter in. Uh, Tesla 54, thanks for coming in. But sorry, we are heading out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.